This video I'm going to show you how to replace the brake shoes. This, you can see these are quite worn. Uh, lift the car up, uh, do the safety um, stuff so it doesn't fall off on you. Um, take the uh, wheel off. To remove the uh, uh, drum, uh, you have to release the brake. So it's very, very important to release the brake. If the end brake is on, it's not going to come off. Sometimes you could just knock it and it comes off. If not, sometimes you have to put a screw over here and with two bolts it will just push itself out. And there it is. It came off. Now this should be cleaned on the inside unless you want to replace it. Just clean it on the inside. Uh, this is the mechanism that we're going to work with today. I'm gonna clean it first really, really nice and then go from there. So I'm gonna use some brake cleaner and just spray it really, really nice so then we could work with the clean uh, thing. Now that it's clean, there are a couple of tools that you're gonna need. Uh, kind of a pair of uh, locking pliers and then you're gonna need a screwdriver. Match the parts in a the box. There is one box that comes with a little pin over here. So this, these two pieces should be matched. So the one with the pin is on this side. So this one is going to go here, right? So lay it that way so you'll know which one goes where. This one goes here. And then you get a secondary part, uh, which comes with a, an attached piece to it already, this little arm. Um, they give you also a pin to remove it, the old arm, but you don't have to just get, uh, get rid of it because the, the new piece comes with, with the proper arm already attached to it. And this is going to go over here. So, how to disassemble it. The locking pliers are your best friend because once you lock them, they will hold on to it. There's like spring tools also that you could buy, but this will work really, really well. So just pull really, really hard on the spring and the spring will come out from the left side. Release it and then put it on the right side. The spring will come out. There it is. So this part, it's done. Uh, there is a mechanism over here that we're going to pull out, but not yet. Um, there's two compression springs over here that you have to turn them at 90 degrees. So you push these and turn them at 90 degrees by holding the pin in the back. So there's a pin here in the back. You hold it and push these at 90 degrees. What, the, uh, what it will do it was it will release them. There it is. So this came off. Um, if you look at it, uh, it has a 90 degrees angle. So it's specifically designed so you can you could pull this pin out. So this pin comes out. The same thing on this side. Okay, so I got the pin out. And now with the locking pliers, there is another uh, spring here at the bottom that you have to pull out. So there it is. There's another spring that comes out from the bottom. So this comes off. Save the spring. And this is one of the pads. Now here's a trick with this pad. It has a spring on it. You have to take the spring out. This spring comes out with the entire mechanism. So you see there's a little a lever over here. It has to come off. There it is. So this spring comes off and it goes back into the new piece. So the new piece has a little pin. Remember I told you about the pin? So uh, this one goes in there with a pin through the pin. There it is, and now the spring will have to go through this little hole over here. So I'm going to use the locking pliers again and then run it through the thing. So uh, this mechanism is very, very important, uh, uh, specifically designed for uh, holding this. Uh, 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 it, it's basically catching on these teeth over here, so you could adjust the brakes. Uh, um, also, when, when you take this one down, uh, remember, very, very important, um, the shorter piece. So this shorter piece, it stores the back of the car, and then it's going against this piece over here, like this uh, uh, part of the mechanism. So the shorter piece goes in, and towards the front uh, uh, brake pad, um, it's the opposite. So the, the, the longer piece goes in the inside, and the shorter piece goes on the uh, outside. Um, how this was work uh, uh, creates a special tension in between the brake pads, so it adjusts them to the uh, 
uh, or the, the, sh the shoes and adjust them against the drum so it keeps them at constant pressure. So I'm going to unwind this one a little bit because it, uh, I know the new ones they're going to need to be adjusted so I'm going to just run this one a little bit deeper in like it is right now because I'll show you that you'll have to adjust them to the drum itself. Uh, with that one taken off this one comes off too. Now there's a um, it has a little spring over here and a little wire so what you could do is you could drag uh, grab on the spring and then pull this wire through this little ear so this will come off usually a lot easier than, than this there it is so this uh, comes off as I said there are models that you have to move this piece to the new piece by removing this uh, safety pin in, in our case they gave us one with a lever already on it so because of that we don't have to remove it all we have to do is just put it back on so uh, this wire goes through like this. This is for the rear brake. So this is the rear brake uh, uh, piece. This is what the rear brake actuates to lock the thing. It's not putting pressure into the uh, piston. What it does is just a mechanical thing. It's a wire that comes through uh, uh, this way. And then it flips around and it goes this way. And then it goes into that little piston. So just goes into that little piston and stays over here. Um, remember the pin that we took from out from the back? This little pin goes through the back, through the hole, through this hole over here. So there's a little hole in the uh, brake pad that it goes through. Everybody has a strategy how to put this one in. What I usually do is I put it into a pair of locking pliers so that way I could see how it's aligning push it on over the pin, align it with the proper thing and then turn it around. You see how we just went, went right in there and then take the locking pliers off and as I said these locking pliers will make uh, your life a lot easier uh, doing this kind of work. And then you do the same thing on this side. Remember uh, the lever system has to be here and then this goes on this side is aligning with the bottom part. So the bottom part aligns over here. This one goes inside the piston okay and then you get your pin run it from the back okay so prepare your cap first then put the spring in put the cap on top of the spring align it with the pin and then turn it at 90 degrees and that is it it's in as simple as that uh, now we're ready to put the, the spring at the bottom so this locking pliers a uh, very very useful tool very useful tool in the garage. I'm gonna lock them in here. Lock them really good so the spring doesn't shut uh, across the garage. Okay, it goes behind there and then the spring goes in there and then the bottom is in. So the piston is aligned. You see these little notches? This one goes into each little notch. And uh, now what you'll have to do is you have to put this piece in. Um, some people put it uh, first, um, some people put it last. I like to put it uh, last. So let's get it going here right now. Shorter piece sh towards the inside, longer piece towards the outside on this side. So you can slide it through here. Uh, remember this has the tendency to move so make sure that you align it properly. So that fits in there, this fits in here. Okay. And then bring it back together so it keeps it in there. Okay. And now this spring has to go in here so we're going to take our locking pliers lock them and put that spring in there so that spring went in and then this spring is going to come out locking pliers and then it has to go all the way through on the other side so there it is the spring uh, went in And then we have the brake system uh, in, but we're not done. Very, very important. Uh, this is a very, very important step. So clean this if you haven't cleaned it already. Here's the trick. So now when you put this one in, sometimes it doesn't go all the way in because maybe your brake was adjusted differently before. This one does, but you could hear it scraping a little bit. Okay, there it is. So right now, this one is not is not scraping on the on that piece. Very very important what you have to do. 
This is why they don't use this kind of uh, brake systems on cars anymore. These are old and outdated. Uh, remember when I put this piece in, it has a little uh, uh, tooth uh, wheel and it has a little lever here in the back. So this little lever, what this lever does, it um, adjusts how far these brake pads are from each other. So right now I'm gonna go and put them to the maximum that they could go. So I'm gonna go, uh, you see, three clicks. And then I'm gonna put this one back in and then see if it's how good it fits okay it's still not scraping so this has to come off again so what you want to do is you want to expand this uh, shoes as far as you can against this one without actually rubbing on it so that way the uh, when you apply the brakes on the car it will be like an instant thing you know like where it touches doesn't have to like move a lot because otherwise you're gonna have a very very soft pedal on the car so we're gonna go uh, three more clicks. One, two, three. And here it is. You hear right now scraping. Yeah, you can clearly see it. So I went too far, so I'm gonna have to go a couple of teeth back. So I'm gonna pull it off. And then what I'm gonna do is, you need two screwdrivers for this. There's a little uh, lever. Remember that lever that we installed on this piece? You're gonna lift this one up. It's a safety lever, so you're gonna lift it up. And then you're gonna go one, two and three back okay so that way this one it's not gonna scrape and you keep doing it until you get the right position there it is so now it's not scraping over there anymore that's what you want to do and now you're ready to put the wheel back in so verify everything make sure everything is right and then uh, put the wheel back in and your car should be functional. Blocks removed. Let's see. So the first thing that you want to try in the driveway, put it in neutral, put the handbrake on and see if it holds. And in this case it holds. If it doesn't hold then you have a problem. You haven't done something right. Take the handbrake off and uh, Go and have a little bit of a softer brake period and then harder and harder and harder until you know it actually works. And then hold on to your camera when you do it. Oh wow, that stopped pretty fast. A couple of things you need to know. The brakes will take a while to adjust. So even though they're round, they don't really use these brakes on cars very, very often. And one of the things that the stores, when you buy them, they don't do is adjust your uh, brakes after the fact so sometimes some stores are good enough to call you after the fact but some of them don't what happens is that um, they wear out a little bit in the beginning like they have to settle to the new um, drum so because of that um, you're gonna feel on your handbrake uh, it's actually gonna go to an extreme position so when you when you lift it up um, it's gonna go higher than, than usual when that happens you have to go and adjust them um, first couple of hundred of a miles and then after that you should be good they will still hold they're just not gonna hold it as well um, with that being said, you're done. You've done your own brakes, 18 bucks.